Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. What if I told you I have to fart? What if I told you I already did? That's what that was? <laughs> <laughs> the fart show number two. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, sure. Farts are great. They make you feel better. Oh, so much better. But what about everybody else? <laughs> there cares? are some facts. <laughs> We have some facts for you today about farts. So these would then be fart facts. Part do. <laughs> there are as few acts as inherently part of the human condition, yet simultaneously reveled as farting. A loud burst of methane erupting from your nether regions, accompanied by an unpleasant smell, is the kind of thing that people love to both laugh about and wince at. But it turns out there's actually quite a few things we all tend to misunderstand about farts. And God knows, you need to know farts. Get up on your farts. <laughs> Bone up. So, there are foods <laughs> that make farts smell worse. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I, I had no idea. So, uh, as many people know, eggs, mm -hmm. right up at the top of the list. Yes. But also red meat. Okay. And other foods containing large amounts of sulfur can indeed cause your farts to stink even more so than usual. Hmm. Let's see. Apparently, the number of farts for the average person... A healthy human, by the way, about 14 a day. Oh, I must be very healthy then. If you could... <laughs> I'm, I'm conjuring low. one up right now. <laughs> so that number's too low for you, It's way too low. <laughs> okay. I, this probably should say 14 times an hour. Now imagine if we could record those, we could do a little fart mix. <laughs> okay, how about this, Ronnie? Okay. Flatchophobia is the fear of farting. Either the sound, smell, or awareness of farting can cause legitimate fear in someone experiencing the condition. Have you ever been afraid to fart? I'm pretty proud. No. <laughs> yes, I, afraid? High school, sitting in class. Oh, because yeah. Because you know when you hear that fart, there's going to be giggles. Yeah. And they're going to trace it down to its original origin pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a that's a, a legitimate fear. So sometimes gas has nothing to do with digestion. Huh. A lot of times it can actually be caused by swallowing too much air when you're eating, especially if you're nervous or anxious. I think that's true. You're swallowing air right now. Did you just fart? No. Are you sure? I don't think. I've reached that age, though, where I could have just... Lean forward and it could have just slipped out. Escaped. Unbeknownst to me. Out, this, out the safety hole. <laughs> <laughs> the bleeder valve. The blowhole. <laughs> the blowhole blew. Here's a fun fact for you. You ready for a fun fart fact? I've hit it. Sometimes beans don't actually make you fart more. They don't. They don't make you fart less either, though. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> a 2011 study found that most people do not fart more if they eat beans. The only time it's happened was with people who normally don't eat beans at all. So mm -hmm. if you're a regular bean eater, just keep on eating regular beans. You know what? I'm not buying that one. No? Because, and I eat plenty of beans, I think. I think I eat a pretty normal mm -hmm. hap, you know, helping of beans. But after beans, like refried beans, I'm on fire. Is that good or it's bad? It's a good thing. Oh, okay. It's a very good thing. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you just... What was that? <laughs> Are we going to have to take a bathroom break here? <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> I never should have swallowed that air. <laughs> it, was, it was on a fast track. God. That thing did not take long to find its way out. So I'm breathing only uh, through my mouth here. Minute. I've been broadcasting for 34 years. I've never done that before. Well, if you really want me to conjure one up, I probably can. I'm a little bit afraid. 
Ronnie, because I'm wearing worry. clean underwear. So. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so, people are trying to invent things to change the smell of farts. Too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too late for that one. Yeah. That air biscuit's out there. A French man named Christian Poincheval <laughs> sells fart pills that supposedly make your gas smell like chocolate. Roses. Oh yeah, mine smell like roses. That's you know not that a, now. Not a rose. No, not a rose. A dead rose. A dead rose. Yes. Okay. Or ginger, which would even be. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of ginger, but it would have been an improvement. Yeah. These well, pills sell for twenty one dollars each. Twenty one dollars, and the average person farts fourteen times a day. Yes. That's going to get pretty expensive. Yes, that's over a buck a fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This next one, though, is my favorite. Oh, uh, le please let me tell this one. There is such a thing as defensive flatulence. Yes, I need to develop this. A psychoanalyst wrote about a patient he treated in 1996, uh -huh. a young boy named Peter. Peter, oh, Peter, you fought him. Peter had been neglected by his parents, mm -hmm. according to his research. Okay. And the doctor says, when feeling endangered, uh -huh. Peter had developed a defensive olfactive container using his bodily smell and farts to envelop himself in a protective cloud of familiarity against the dread of falling apart and to hold his personality together. Stank bomb. It, it is. So if you can picture this, in the animal world, it's like the squid shooting ink. <laughs> yes. That is what PETA was doing. Was shooting ink. But it stunk. It's stinky ink. <laughs> the ink stink? <laughs> it's, the ink did stink. Yes, it was ink stink. <sighs> yeah. Okay, give me a second here. Uh, okay. Let's, this is the fart show. Let's compose here. Number two. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Uh, here's a fun fact. Want another fun fart fact? Yes. Women fart just as much as men. I knew it. Several studies have been conducted that have determined that there is still no difference between the sexes in terms of the frequency of passing gas. Yeah, but ours are better. It's true. Mm -hmm. And women will tell you they don't fart any yeah. either. And you know the thing, when you're a giver, <laughs> you're sharing your farts with the world. You can quote me on that. Yes. Yeah. That's Share your farts with the world. Have no fear, Peter. Uh, yes. Now, this one is a little confusing to me. Okay, I'm ready. Fart jokes have been around for literally thousands of years. Mm -hmm. uh, the world's o oldest recorded joke comes from a Sumerian text dating back to 1900 BC. They had texting back then? Who knew they even had cell phones <laughs> back then? I I, must have been the iPhone 1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or the iPhone II. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but, but that joke is a fart joke. It's the oldest joke in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're actually, and this is really good news, and this is a benefit to your health, there's actually no risk to holding in your farts. Please do not tell my wife that. <laughs> I told her it causes cancer. So, <laughs> you know. uh, it can it can cause <clears throat> uncomfortable cramps, <clears throat> coughing, <laughs> and mild pain. But otherwise, there's no risk to not letting one rip. So rip one today, won't you? Please. <laughs> and in other news, farts can ruin your career. You don't uh, say. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to the New York Post, in 2014, an uh -huh. opera singer sued her hospital over a botched medical procedure that left her with excessive flatulence. Huh. The lawsuit alleged, as a result of her incontinence and excessive flatulence, she was unable to continue working. So, hmm. farts can ruin your career or they can give you one. Well, Yes. Hi, Jimmy. What does your dad do? My dad's a dentist. Hey, Susie, what nice. does your dad do? My dad is a grocery store manager. Oh, very nice. Hey, Bobby, what does your dad do? He's a professional farter. Hmm. Is it Mr. Methane? <laughs> he has a YouTube show. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Mr. Methane. <laughs> All right. Mr. Methane is a performance artist and the world's only flatulist. <laughs> a professional farter. That's right. He farts well-known pieces of music, which I hate to tell you, but I think I'm ready to do mm. <laughs> some sort of concerto here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry in advance. All right. So that Ooh. is the fart show number dose. Yes. Numero two. <laughs> All right. Coincidence? So, we think not. I hope you laughed as much as we did. This is a show for guys. Yeah. And guys find farts funny. I'm sorry, ladies, but that's all there is to it. There's nothing not funny about a fart. I had somebody, a woman the other day, tell me she thought farts were funny as well. So there, there you go. I like her already. Liz. Oh. Yes. Our Liz? Yes. Oh, love me some Liz. I, it's funny because I feel compelled to go and share with Liz. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> well, don't uh, share what you just shared with me. <laughs> I'm a I giver. Just, I threw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Well, yeah, that's what you get when you watch a fart show. <laughs> That'll do it for us if we didn't already do it. <laughs> I did. All right, if you laughed and your tummy hurts like mine does from laughing so hard, like this episode and subscribe to our channel. All of our information on how to contact us is below in addition to our sponsors. Please feel free to support them as you need their services. Until the next time, I'm Lou Gallagher. And I'm Corvette Ronnie. <laughs> and this has been Men Are So Fart. What? Men Are Fart? Oh, wait. Oh, men are so smart. Smart. Okay. See you next time. <laughs> what if I told you I already did? <laughs>